Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. You know what we're going to talk about now? Lord popped it in my head. It's so funny. Fitting out the fluff. Getting rid of the, the extra bulk that's really not necessary for what's needed in your life or in your character. Now, I just got through going over to a friend's house today and I thinned her wig out. And I used a pair of thinning shears. They look like scissors, but they don't cut all the way across. They have openings in between like a comb. So that when you cut, you're only cutting strands, scattered strands here and there. And what it does, it takes the bulk, the extra thickness out of a wig. Now, I know some of you can relate to this. You ever seen women who wear wigs or weaves and they are so thick. They look like somebody slapped, <laughs> slapped a big old blanket up on top of their head. <laughs> they don't know when to stop they just put too much hair up there or they buy a wig and they never get it cut they never get it thinned well when you thin a wig you cut it to the person's face and you make it look more like the amount of hair that would be natural for that individual then when people look at them they don't think oh I wonder where they got that wig they look at them and say wow their hair really looks nice because it's becoming to them. It's not just a big old helmet that you snatched off the shelf and slapped on your head. So, it's the same with life. What God does with the thinning shears is He snips away some friends you don't need in your life anymore. He moves people out of your circle. He might get rid of that boyfriend that ain't about nothing, but some mess. Or, he may cut your job out of your life because your job that you're working right now was a means to an end, but it's not the end. And God is seeing that it's moving you away from your purpose. So he has to line you up with something that's going to take you right into your next phase. And he has to do a little shuffling around. So he has to snip here, thin there, slice and dice and get rid of all the fat and all the excess nonsense, the bulk, the busyness, the clutter that's in your life and on your mind. Even sometimes you have to have somebody in your house that you've been helping for a very long time and it's time for them to go because you need space to do what you've got to do for God and what God wants to do in your life for you. So don't always try to hang on to the very thing that's being pulled out of your life. No, that's mine. No, I've always had it in my life. Let that thing go. Let God let go and let God. Trust Him. He knows what you need. He knows what you no longer need in your life. He knows what has become a ball and chain around your neck. And he knows what's become dead weight. You don't need that. Trust your father. He loves you. He knows what's good for you. 